rest of the tuning yeah. kwa computer ponge ya fuel ponge ya yeah. internet advance na nini yeah. kwa computer you don't, you don't come back kwa engine no not think that it's here not think that Ni ajeniaje wa karibuni sana Automobile Cafe and today we are going to feature a very interesting Mercedes here that is actually uh, turned from uh, the old way Mercedes used to do things which was carburetor to EFI and the engineer is right here uh, we want to speak to him and get to understand more about this build and about how he does his thing actually Simara ya kwanza tumemwona he's been around ukimwangalia kwa mtandao utampata hapa na pale so let's uh, hear it from him and uh, let's start by knowing his name. Niaje niaje? Fiti sana. What's your name sir? Peter Mbiria Maina. Peter Mbiria Maina. Yes. Nimekuwa nikiona job zako kwa mtandao na I'm humbled to meet leo and I uh, wanted to know you have a project here. Yes. Kindly explain more about it. So this is a 1 2 3 2.8 uh, six cylinder uh, vehicle and it came with this FD system. So there is the FD itself. Mm -hmm. These are the cabling for the fuel mm -hmm. the distributor. Mm -hmm. But it had stalled, it wasn't working. Mm -hmm and the owner wanted the vehicle to be functional mm -hmm. so he requested for my services where i convert i remove all this mm -hmm. and then i put my computer that is a voter and dcu mm -hmm. and the harness and all mm -hmm. so what you're seeing right now is the naked harness it hasn't been done anything other than the engine running so that now i can get to this event other it's supposed to be looking better now let me ask you uh, how many projects have you converted from uh, the kawaida carburetor to efi so far so good with the same same engine uh, slightly over 10 mm -hmm. but the number is increasing every day to some degree yes let me ask you uh, have you have any refunds or any returns uh, I, the, the more the business is coming in the more I'm starting getting uh, you know uh, profits uh, yes. no I'm asking about maybe we'll take a refund oh, refund okay no. Ikaenda, ikakata, no, no no actually what they come for is yeah. either tuning mm -hmm. or just a uh, few other things not related to the engine so, but uh, referrals now we pata. Yes, a lot of referrals. Now you've talked about tuning. Uh, does that mean that immediately you do the swap or you do the EFI conversion? There is a tuning that is needed. Oh, yes. Apart from that, what else is needed? Can you explain to us? Okay, so once you do the swap, like you have done right now, mm -hmm. you know it's running on the base program. Base program meaning it will allow it to run, mm -hmm. but that's it. In terms of fuel efficiency, power, and everything, it won't have that. So tuning comes in to make sure you have the right fuel at the right time you have the right ignition at the right time so that now you get power at any one time and again I need to tune for the drive modes economy I need to make it economical comfort it has to give you power between economy and sport and sport should give you massive power so all that needs tuning now let me ask you do you do the conversion and tuning as well exactly yes I do okay it's a one-stop shop I'm sure Sema <laughs> so uh, what was your uh, remarkable project or your first project for you to do because I remember there's a time I saw something if i'm not wrong it was a Peugeot 504 a blue one in color Am I... it was a benz 190 that was mine my guinea pig yeah. oh that's where you started yes i remember there's a time i could see such clips on facebook yes and then you disappeared <laughs> it was quite some it was around 20 2020 20, 20, 20, 20 21 and 22 exactly yes Tentatively, how much would you charge for such a setup so for an inline four the base value the base cost is 150,000. Mm -hmm. The ECU goes for 80,000 and now the rest of the parts go for 70,000 parts, modifications needed and all. But for the more, more cylinders that are needed, for instance for a six cylinder, it costs for slightly more amount of more money. Amount yes, of money. Wow. yes. So like for this one we will go for 172. Oh, okay. Yes. But it will still keep the, uh, the car running, yes. which is the ultimate goal, right? Exactly, so, exactly. So, so, so what do you get to tell uh, the guys out there who maybe possibly by, might be watching this clip and they have uh, uh, the old setup? which is carburetor and they'd like to convert this is what i'm telling you like it is possible and what you're looking at right now is that you can get to keep the car that you love and make it run a lot better than it was that it came from the manufacturer you'll have tunes you'll have driving modes like you'll get to enjoy your vintage car like a modern car so also, manze you've heard it from him he's the host i'm just passing over the message manze if you have a car which is a uh, carburetor and you'd like to turn it to, e to, turn it to EFI Karibu sana ongena eh? Let me ask him his contact so that we can be able to reach as many people as possible uh, What is your, num your, your number again? It is 0715-794-913 Again, 0715-794-913
Yeah, that's the number. Kama kawaida, it's all about you. Uh, you have your good car, ya amusha. You have your daddy's car, ya melala hapo, amusha. There is nothing impossible. Lusi seme, oh, siju economy, mafuta ningumu. You can tune it back. You can set it up to your fire. As what, you, as, as what as you can see here. Listen to that. Thing. Oh yeah, oh yeah. The old sound is still intact. Way more powerful. Way more. <laughs> How can, can I call it rowdy? <laughs> Way better. Manze, usilalia gari. Get in touch with him. We'll share his number up chini. And enjoy your ride. Amusha garizenyu. Ciao.